good old buddy Eric from the Action Toys channel. And as you see, we have Toxie from the Toxic Crusaders, who was and is inspired by the Toxic Avenger. Now the character literally can stand side by side with each other and you will see the exact likeness of each other. Now that being said, I got the files for this exact figure off of cults3d.com. Check them out. This is not a sponsored video. I just really enjoy the uh, way the community interacts and creates things. Um, to literally quote one creator, the reason why I upload these files is because I want to preserve the history of vintage toys and thus you get something like this. A foot soldier. Now that being said, um, I did not create this one. The only thing I've done to it is rescaled it to the uh, 9 inch size that it is now. It may not look it, but this is twice the size of a He-Man figure. The torso alone is 4 inches. So, as you can see, I've touched the legs up with a little bit of paint. Now, that being said, the PLA for this piece right here is terrible I'm actually printing it out again in a different color but a better quality PLA this one used to have a top on it I inserted it into the figure and then as you start to articulate the top pops off as you can see here um, that's nothing wrong with the model that's just the quality of the PLA that I used so that being said this PLA is very brittle it's a clone box ROHS PLA um, as you can see right here, there's a crack right along the crotch area, and that's where the legs are that were inserted, and they just pop it open. Now, I heated this up in warm, like really warm water, and then put it in, and it still cracked. So, that's not me, that's not my printer, that's this PLA. This is the second one, the first one's right here. I've already, I was, uh, I had already painted it and then applied it. Um, I was, I am gonna fill this cavity with extra um, parts of the green PLA that I used. I'm just gonna heat it up and fill it in the spots and see if I can work on the top, make this uh, solid again so that it's not so loose when I attach it. But um, you can look, it's cracked across the crotch, it's cracked across the back. I've painted it in chalkboard paint. I put some blue metallic paint on there. To be honest, I'm literally just going to give up on these two pieces. So this is not going to get paint today. I'm waiting on the one that I'm currently printing downstairs. It's going to be about four hours. Um, I slowed down my printer quite a bit to do it. So, see that? Disappears. Comes back. Yep, so. I don't recommend this stuff. This green PLA is um, the same brand, so it's Clone Box ROHS or Rose. Um, but it's translucent, and I literally printed everything with it and did the exact same thing. So it's probably I don't know if it's just this one box because this hasn't been. I literally opened it just for this. So that's five minutes ranting about the quality of PLA that you get. <laughs> Okay, so this is a, these are just this is just a stand-in for uh, the stuff incoming. Now, mostly what we're going to be using today is just orange. Any orange is good. Okay, so we got acrylic. I like using um, um, what's it called? It's an outdoor indoor acrylic. Um, I have that in red downstairs, but. This figure is going to go green, and if I print another one of these off, it'll be in glow to dark, so he'll be white, and I'll just paint his clothes, all his clothes black. But yeah, today's, we're getting this one. Two days. Okay. Okay. And as always, I don't ever put it on a thing, I just put, put it in the cap. 
Now, I don't know how this will apply, so... This will definitely be multiple coats from the looks of it. Yes, but I'm liking it. I'm liking the orange quite a great deal. A great deal. Okay, so that's not bad. That really pops. Okay, for me, this is looking really dark. But on here, it's actually looking like a bright orange, so that's good. Or on the camera, it's looking like a bright orange, so I'm happy about that. Now, um, I'm having a good night tonight because my hands aren't super shaky. They're still shaky, but not as shaky as they normally are. Whoops. So if you hear my breathing, I am quite close to the mic. It's I can't get the sensitivity right for some reason. I've been having this issue for a year now, which is around the time the channel officially started. But, um, before I literally didn't really do much. I had posted like videos of whatever, like literally nothing. Just basically me uh, fooling around with my airsoft stuff. We don't do that anymore. But my channel started out with uh, not very many subscribers, let's just put it that way. Um, been having a lot of fun with the toys. And I'm literally, I literally just, um, what sparked it was because I used to do this a lot when I was a kid. Repair my toys. I didn't paint them. I was like, G.I. Joe was putting the thumbs, crotches. Do the, um, O-ring. It's bad when you gotta remember. You gotta, you gotta sit there and think about what you're doing, right? You're like, oh, good. <laughs> now, as you see, um, the black guy I, I, I always use on these figures is um, chalkboard paint. You can get it at the dollar store. You can get it at Home Hardware. You can get it just about anywhere. Now, the type of paint. Uh, chopboard paint doesn't matter. It, chopboard paint comes in many colors too. So if you don't want, if you, I just get black because black's easy for me. Most of the time, I'm putting things, I'm painting things black. Um, my wife actually got me the black I have now, which has been going since uh, anti attorney He-Man. If you want to go back and check that video, that'd be cool. <laughs> yeah. So that's not too bad, is it? And a little bit of red around there makes it look like it's sore, so ooh, I like that. Okay, so we got ourselves a leg. Okay, so we're going to put this up. Where are we going to put it? I don't know. I have one of these. Um, I opened one up. And I didn't care for it. I'm like, whatever. I give it away. I'm not a fan of, um, what do you call those? Those Origins He-Man things. Like, there's certain things I like just because I like glow in the dark and I like translucent things. So I'll pick it up. Doesn't mean I'll like, I'll actually enjoy the line. I guess that makes me a bit of a hypocrite for toys, but it's what it is. See, not Toxie. I've, like, when I was little, I've seen these toys, and I always wanted one, but I always got told no, so. Because to me, they just look like Ninja Turtle figures, to be honest. Like, if you look at them, they look crazy and wonky, like Ninja Turtle figures. So that was my reasoning back in the day. I didn't know them anything as Toxie or Toxic Crusaders. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm gonna be very happy with this. Um, the paint I used here is a marker pen. In a second, um, and this looks pink on camera, but when it applies, it applies red. So, mm. <sighs> I 
Yeah. Having a lot of fun today. It's, today's been really... I don't know what to say. It's been a good day. It's been a bad day. It's been a day. I, I, I should not touch it with the other with my other hand because I... Oh, there we go. See it? <laughs> okay, just put it down. We'll move fast. So, um... It doesn't look like I'm... Shaky, shaky. Um, and the reason, and I shake because, well, I've got severe arthritis in my hands, and I'm I'm having a good day. So I figured let's do a paint video, and I can literally just talk. And if people want to talk back at me in chat, or. In comments, I mean, sorry. That reminds me, that's what I did. I recently um, touched up my uh, Twitch Twitch account. <laughs> Looks a little bit more professional. I haven't, I haven't touched most of it in a long time. Um, I haven't edited my panels in over four years, so... I finally did that. I was pretty happy. Hmm. Not too bad. Ooh, gonna sneeze. Eleven thirty-four. Okay. Okay. So we got that. Okay. Those are done. Now let's move this over there. Okay. Now this figure is. Oh. Oh oh oh! Look at that. Just about dropped everything. Now, what's that look like to you guys? <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. I saw it. I think this is probably the best way to attach a head because it slides on and it's perfectly matched for it. So, and unlike some of the like the foot soldier heads, they clip into place, but you have to heat the entire thing up. And with this right off the, right off the printer, it went like that, and it was perfect. I thought that was amazing. Okay, so one second. I know the shirt's orange. I know the headband is orange. Um, whoops. And I just exited out of, of my screen. So we're gonna pull up, what do you call it? So we will pull up. I need a reference photo for picture, uh, picture of toxic Crus crusader. <sighs> okay, we got Google. Now toxic uh, Avenger, his shirt would be a blue. If it was toxic Avenger, his shirt would be a blue plaid check shirt and that would be cool all right so we got toxic crusaders we go images okay and looking at this okay all right so headbands orange so this headband is gonna be orange eyes are white teeth are white okay that's simple Shirts white or not white, uh, orange. Okay, his armband on this hand is uh, blue, red, white, yellow, blue, red, white, and red. So it's the American flag. Uh, this one is yellow. This band is yellow. Okay, so a little bit of paint on this one. Uh, this one is red, white, and blue. Okay, it's so orange and orange. All right, don't do that. Um, it's a little sad that this is blue or black with a blue belt, so we'll just paint the belt blue. As you see here, the belt's already painted blue. It's a metallic blue, so if I put it under a light, it'll pop. All right. I still got a bunch of my junk up here. Okay, so we'll start off with Toxie's head, as this requires the least amount of effort and Make sure we go through, make sure I didn't get paint on stuff like I normally do. Okay. <sighs> okay, take a breath and go. Maybe it's easier for me to get this way. Because then I don't have to touch the head. Then take the head off and I'm done, so. Now I am trying to do this with a camera in my face. 
So if you see me paint out of the lines, I apologize. And I may have to bring it back here and go, okay. <laughs> hmm, righty then. And I don't mind this this uh, orange. It pops. It looks solid to you guys, but to me, I see it looks like the green's coming through. So it is just the way the light hits it. And I do have LED up ahead, so maybe that's skewing the results. I don't know. I almost feel like we need a theme song for this. Maybe I'll look it up the song, and then I'll see if I can insert it while I'm uh, painting. And if people don't like it, that's fine. This is probably the easiest part of the whole thing. Is this one headband. It's been a good week. watching a stream it's really cool you guys should check it out it's crazy cries that's crazy with a K no space cries with a capital C really good stream it's been a lot of fun I've been touching up my voice acting so oh. Touching up my voice acting. So if you really need me to talk, honey, that's really good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I can voice act, I just don't do it because I'm not good at it. Huh. Not too bad. Oh, a little bit of right there, right there. Okay. I like that. That looks pretty good actually. Oh, right to then. Oh my. Okay, so. Oh, we sagged a little bit more than we were earlier. That's fine. Okay, well, this is all live. Or not live, it's raw. Um, oh. Um, for this one, because the eyes are going to be weird, I'm going to use this paint I stole from my daughter. Um, nail polish stuff. Oh, it's old. Oh, and I think that's why she didn't care. I took it. Uh, okay, one second. All right. My applicator. Ooh. Okay. I just need something that has a little bit of a grip on it. All right. Okay, now all I'm going to do is tilt the head back. I'm going to let the paint drip onto it, basically. And it should sort itself out. And get rid of some of this extra, this excess on the brush. See, my hands aren't shaking anymore, so that's good. So I, was, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do the eyes or any of the lines on the hands. Okay, let's get rid of some of this excess I'm pulling off the eye. Not bad. What do you think, guys? I'm all way over here. What the heck's going on? Okay. Not bad. I could do better, I guess. Well, you can always do better, but...
The one nice thing about this paint is that it's an acrylic type paint or an enamel paint so I can scrape it off if I need to. The only problem is, is that the type of figure it is, the fact that it is a 3D printed figure means it has lines that go everywhere. So if it bleeds, it won't be good news for me. Ow. And there goes the paint for the eyes. Oh well. All over my desk. A little bit on top. Okay. I'm trying to. I forgot that the autofocus on my camera don't work anymore. Funny thing is. Is that? Oh, there's a dot that goes up top. So a black dot, black dot. Okay, that is what does it look like for that? And I think I touched something. Something touched me, anyways. All right, so we're gonna gently pull this head off and not throw it across the room, like I've done earlier today. So now. The easier part is this is all orange. I say easier, but in reality, I'm scared that I'm gonna mess it all up. Okay, and I, and um, always I keep my, I'm trying to keep one cap open because normally if I have multiple paints going, I have taken my red paint and stuck it in my blue paint and then started painting without realizing. So if you're gonna go, yeah, so. That's just me though. <laughs> I, I tend to mess up like that a lot, so. Okay, let's apply our paint. Ooh, that pops, I like that. Okay. Now, I am debating if I'm gonna take this outside and spray it with lacquer or something that, try and, try and spray it with something that won't eat away at the PLA. That's what I'm worried about doing is wrecking it after I'm done. But then again, this is going to go on my shelf. I don't know. Maybe if uh, we do a giveaway at some point when I reach the 500 uh, subscribers. Um, maybe I'll do a giant figure like this. This 9 inch uh, figure like this. Um, this one was surprisingly easy. The only thing I had to warm up was the lower half and the arms. But everything actually fit really well. So I was a little surprised. No, I say a little surprised. But whenever something fits together so well. That means that's just uh, that just like shows you how much experience the, uh, the the model maker has. Like me, I can do stands and some really low budget accessories. Um, I haven't graduated to a to a master level like this yet. Like I'm like I want um. Now, I want this, but I don't have a printer that will print in the type of material that I want to make it in. Um, so, I have to hit up my friend, Jason, and see what, ask him if he wants to do it, and I'll just give him some bucks to do it, so. Yeah, um, those figures, I'm thinking probably anywhere... I'm thinking if I get this done, I want it in the 18 inch scale, 18 to 24. This one's nine, that's cool. 12 would be cool too, but I think I want it bigger, so. Um, he said he'd do it, I just gotta send the files, but I went to upload these in Dropbox and it wouldn't upload, so I was like, uh. No. Oh, that looks so good. We're gonna watch it right there. Okay. I'm sorry if I get quiet, guys. It's just that sometimes I get the painting. It's really 
this is what I'm focused on. Like, this looks pretty cool to me. Um, I don't know if anyone else is enjoying this, but I certainly am relaxing to it. What else has gone on in life today? Let's see. Um, went out with my wife. Got some... Oh, I did. I was part of an auction that I didn't know was even going on. And someone's like, uh, I'm gonna take, uh, or someone tagged me, and I went and finally looked, and it was like, it was, um, they tagged me today, but it, uh, the auction's been going on for three days, and I guess it's, it was a huge auction. I was like, looking through all the stuff, I was like, oh my god, I wanted this, I wanted that. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so, where do you guys find your toys? Um, so, me, where I find my toys most of the time, is the Facebook Marketplace. Um, you have to be careful. I tend to be on the trusting side of people. Um, but, that's only because in the groups I'm in, um, people will scour, uh, they will scour the uh, Marketplace for vintage toy deals. And somehow I never find these people. I'm like really hoping that I never find a scammer person. Uh, but yeah, they find the person and they report in all the in all the toy groups that I'm in. Uh, people that have history of scamming people and stuff like that. So I was like, oh, and you know, uh, and I'm very trusting. So I'm like, all right. I don't deal with the person, but at the same time, um, you got to put your trust up there sometimes, and I've yet to be burned. I only got burned once, but it wasn't. I got my figure, but it was only because the person, um, they quoted me one thing, and then they decided to up their price on their uh, item after the sale, and I paid them and everything. They decided, no, I want another $10, $15, and you have to pay me more for shipping now. And I'm like, what the hell's going on here? <laughs> Oh, paint's everywhere now. And that's one of the spots where it bleeds really bad. So, but this is looking really nice. My wife's probably gonna want to steal this off me after. And I'm like, babe, I don't, I can't make another one because I'm out of the PLA. And then she'll literally just go out and buy me the PLA, give me the PLA, then tell me to leave her alone. And then she'll steal my figure. But we can't do that right now because Ontario is in a lockdown, a stay at home order and a lockdown, which is stupid. Ah, I almost dropped it. Okay, one sec, guys. Ugh. Oh, okay, I see it. Uh huh, I'm surprised I don't have any more shaking fits. One second. Okay. I'm sorry if you guys can't see, but maybe I should paint like that. But I'm trying to make sure I, I'm i able to do a good job. But I'm trying to look at the camera a little bit. And I got a speck there, so I'm going to go through with a pick and pick all the, all the paint particulates off that drip, drifted off. Okay. Now, the camera I've got is damaged, so I'm not sure. I set it for uh, 1080p. I do have the option for 4K, but I doubt uh, when I am editing and publishing if the machine I use will even be able to do that. So, And my laptop that I use for, for stuff... It's a ThinkPad, and everyone knows ThinkPads are basically just um, very light duty office machines, so. <clears throat> Ugh. Okay. Oh, sorry guys. Yeah, but yeah, we got uh, 
I've been sitting here racking my brain about dad jokes and all the thing I can come up with is weird elevator jokes. And, uh, what do you call it? Uh, they're not, not, not safe for work, uh, jokes. So I was like, uh. <laughs> um, oh, if you want to know why I'm looking, I, I, I try to do jokes and stuff. It's, uh, I'm, I show up and like watching a stream called the Mike, Mike Walt. It's, uh, the YouTube channel is Mike Walters and it's the Mike stand. I think he calls it. Or if not, he should call it that because that's a really catchy name. So now, after looking at this, this is gonna, I don't think I'm gonna be able to clear code it because it's looking nice and solid to you guys, but I can see through the, the paint a bit, which means if I apply a clear coat, this paint will, I'll end up painting it again, clear coating, painting it again. Which happens, you know. But that's... Uh, no, no. Oh man, it's in there good. Okay. That's good enough, I guess. It's not like I'm gonna win any awards for it, so... Okay. Ugh. Oh, that's not too bad. Uh-huh. Okay, legs. Oh, what's this? Oh, I gotta do come through and clean this up. But, um, I have to do orange up here, and then I have to go through and do some yellow. Um, one second. We will double check this figure. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ooh. Come on, oh, he's got white on his legs here, but that's not the toy. You want the toy, because that's what you're doing. Okay, there's a picture of a toy. Oh, there's a, oh, okay, that's cool. Hmm. Yep, so I found a picture of the toy. Okay, so it looks like he comes in a variation of orange and red. Um, but down here is, is yellow. So I'll need to get some yellow paint, which means I'll be going for a little walk. Um, so the yellow that's used here is used on the one armband. That's not too bad. Oh, it's not too bad at all, Sonny. And look at that, we're still not even, it's still not dry, so. Um, yeah, we'll just do that. Well, nothing else to do. Okay. I need a little, a little stand that'll clip somewhere and it'll hold it while I paint. Almost like an easel, but it's not an easel. Now, why am I tapping? Because I don't, because I'm far enough. My face is far enough away from um, this. Um, yeah, I'm far enough away where I can see the camera and paint. So is what it is. Oh, let's talk. Oh, dad joke. Dad joke. <laughs> Why can't you trust escalators? Because they're always letting you down. <laughs> Love it. Now I've had people like, hey, I've read that somewhere. And I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> and I'm like, where? So I can get my, I can steal it. I can steal better jokes than the ones I've been doing. Oh. <laughs> uh, I have one, um, why are ninjas so silent? <laughs> because they wear sneakers. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I got that one. No, that's not too bad. No, that's a lot of work just to go in that long little space, but I can't really see too much, so. I need a better light for my studio here. Now I've seen someone told me, why don't you just paint in a um, in a in a photo booth? I'm like, what? Get orange? Get paint on my white photo booth? They're like, yeah. Uh, well, no, but I'm like, yeah, not happening. They're like, why? I'm like, 
I'm like, because um, one, photo booth uh, is expensive. The material for the background is expensive. And I don't want to get it dirty. And if I get anything on white, it's never coming out. <laughs> and as you see, I'm using orange, black, um, different types of paint here. And it's like, ugh. Uh huh. Um. Oh, I I posted a photo of one of my other 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 works. Um. Tech was it? And someone's like, "How come you don't use airbrush?" I'm like, "Cause I don't have one." <laughs> and they're like, "Oh, well, if you do, it'll look so much better." And I'm like, "I know, but I don't have one, so why not just make do with what I got?" And they got so offended by that. But I just want to have fun, so. Oh, that's just me looking from the side looks really blurry. Okay, so it is recording in 1080p. That's good. I'm trying to paint this stuff while recording. Um, everything's much easier if I record it from a top view. For me, it's easier. I don't know what if you guys can see. Oh, well, I know you guys. I know you guys can see it. So. Okay, that's one. Ooh, wham! He's got his big old toe jam, toe jam sticking out there, so that's good. <sighs> okay, one second, guys. I need to refresh myself with something to drink. Uh, Diet Coke. Ooh. I survive on Coke or Diet Coke, coffee, and uh. Twitch streams. <laughs> Watch your Twitch streams. Twitch streams. Oh my god. It'd be funny, my mom. My mom. My mom. Oh my gosh. Uh, it'd be funny because uh, my mom will be like, "So you're watching Twitch streams, huh?" And I'm like, "Oh my god." She'd be picking on me because she'd be she, like, she sounds. Uh, oh, sometimes I ask her, "What do you think?" And she'll go through it and say, oh yeah, and she'll pick on me for like a uh, Freudian slip like that. And I was like, whatever. You know what I forgot to do is turn on my music. No, music for me, I'm wearing a headset so you guys won't hear it so I don't get demonetized. So I won't get banned. I don't care about demonetization. Maybe one day that'll be a concern, but not today. I just like hanging out with everybody, shooting the breeze, having fun. Um, there will probably be no edits in this video, and this is going to be an hour long video probably. I don't know what day I'm going to post it. See now, I had started painting on Sundays, ish, ish days, Sundays, and I was like, you know what, this feels too much like work, I don't feel like doing it. Um, well, it didn't feel at work. It was relaxing, and then editing. Because then, after I'm done, after I'm done the, the painting and recording, I then have to edit, and it just felt like way too much work, so I didn't do it. Well, I do it, but I don't do it. Does that make any sense? No. No. So. Oh, got to give a big old shout out to Blue Ball Hobbies on his awesome fishing trip video that he just recently put out. That was pretty fun to watch. That guy, that guy's doing good. I think he's at 310 subscribers or something right now. And I was very pleased to see that. And honestly, he deserves it. Of course, <laughs> he puts up like a bazillion videos a day. I'm like, I can't do that. <laughs> That's awesome though. Um, so I decided that, um, our Friday or Hot Wheels Fridays are going to continue. I'm just going to start opening stuff up from my private collection and then I'll just bite the bullet and have to replace some things that are not going to be so easy to replace. And that'll be that. Um, I, I was lucky enough on one of the days to go into the grocery store and find some Hot Wheels and they didn't care about it so of course in my area of Ontario if you want to look they are starting to do anti 
anti-shutdown protest and stuff. Which is fine. I see why they're doing it. So can't get mad at people who just want to make want to be able to make a living. I think if you want if you want them to stop complaining because they can't make any money, then you give you take away the incentive to make money. Just give them, just flat out to guarantee everybody. Okay, this is how much you're gonna make, and that's it. That's I think will work. I think I think one of the European countries does something like that. Everyone gets a standard wage. Or am I thinking of a different country altogether? I don't remember. Don't care. Oh, it's a living wage is what everyone wants, yeah. A living wage is just something. It's just a concept that people want to do. Okay, yellow. And I don't have any yellow. I might be able to paint some of this one. And I forgot to do the teeth on that, so that head, so we'll do that. And then that'll be the end of the video. And I will come back after I've done the, uh... Oh, something bit me! So I'll come back after I paint some yellow. Okay, so this one's red or orange, white, orange. Okay, so we'll just do that. Okay, even if I, because it looks like it's orange. Okay, so the figure has a mop, has a weird mask thingy, has a belt, but this this doesn't have it. Um, has a shield, so on the figure it's all orange, black, blue, red, yellow, white. Okay, so the eye needs a blue dot on it, on both of them. That's easy. So, do I want to put red on this? Do I have red? Second guys. I have purple. I have purple. But no, not the color I need, so we'll just go with the orange for now. Yeah, that ooh, was me falling on my face. <laughs> oh, it is how it is, though. Life throws your hurdles, and all you can do is answer that hurdle with an oh my gosh, and then pick yourself up after you've fallen on your face. So, is what it is, and, oh. Okay, one second, guys, gotta stop shaking. Oh, okay, give me a sec. No, 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 oh. Well, the one nice thing I could take a pick and clean that up. Yeah. Oh, and I gotta get paint on my brush and not, oh, there we go. Surprising, the cap's actually gone down quite a bit. No, we've used over half, so. I like using modeling paint. But I don't have that right now. And normally what I do is I steal these off my, my wife and my daughter. Um, I empty it out because the stuff in it normally is just garbage, right? And I put in my own paints. Like, it's nice to have a paint, but it, you don't want to open up a jar that's like this tiny. So I just like buy multiples of the same color. Pour, pour it in a thing like this. And it has its own applicator, so I don't have to worry about a brush going bad. Okay. And that's just me ranting on about my paint storage abilities. Yeah, I gotta come through and pick that one piece. Alrighty then. That looks terrible, don't you think? I think I'm gonna need like a stand of some sort that'll clamp down on something and then I can just move around. Maybe one of those armatures. Oh, come on. Oh, man. Oh, well. This is what it is. That's what I get for being shaky. How many people, uh, uh, like, how the people that comment? Since you're going to be at least an hour 
end of the video by now. Well, it's 45 minutes, 12 seconds on the video right now. Um, how many people actually, actually watch and listen? That's what I wonder. You know what? Yeah, I think we're good for that. Um, I don't think we're going to need any more orange. I think I'm happy with the way most of it looks right now. I don't think I'm going to clear coat any of the orange because I think it'll just mess up the paint job. Like, a lot of this looks good, so. Um, as you know, this is a, just a stand-in because it's busted. See? Right there. See how bad that was? Now I can glue it back together. But it won't be nowhere near as sturdy as it should be. This should not have done that. See? Like, I can glue it, clamp it, and it might hold up, but let's be fair, I don't think it will. Um, yeah, so. Like, I smacked that one apart. Um, here's our one that we've already destroyed, the first one I made. It's already been painted and stuff, and then when I assembled it, it was terrible. But what it does do, um, this top got stuck inside the body, like, like I said before, but look at that. It's not a tight fit either, but it doesn't do too bad. It, it stays in, so I guess that's all that matters, right? Oh yeah, it's got white all, I got the white on the teeth in it. Eh, gotta be careful. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Okay. Is there anything else I could stick this on? No. It'll stay, but I can't really do much else with it. And I just realized that the camera mount has been sagging slightly towards the Foot Clan. Or as I've been calling them, the crew. <laughs> um, my Ooh Squad. Yeah, one night my wife was like, I'm heading over to my mother's. I'm like, want me to send your crew? And I sent, want me to send my crew? And then I sent her a picture of uh, <laughs> the foot soldiers right there. Um, so what we got here is, you see the off color leg that needs um, clear coat and it'll darken up to the same color as the right leg. That guy right there, I'm calling the the Oos, the Oos squad boss because he's really, he really is like restored, restored. Um, he's got a proper leg. He needed arm guards, he's got those, and he needed a head. I think that was that was the main thing for that. Um, I do have yellow right here somewhere, I just realized that. There is, um... Oh, me dropping stuff all over the place is what that was. Oh, okay, so I have a testers painting thing, so... Cool. I would never have known. <laughs> so maybe we'll, we'll, do, we'll, we'll do the uh, touch-up on a couple parts. I gotta do the touch up on that arm, but this is where I'm worried because. Okay. Oh, okay, that's a good way to hold it. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay. Okay, let me get in there. I gotta duck under everything. I think my pooch is trying to come in. No. I don't like that. I feel like I got something on me. And I did. Okay. So it's because I'm gonna get it now. Without getting a micro brush. Oh, and see, that's where I got, I got some of this on me. Yeah, it's touched up right there, so. All right, and this one is what needs to go, so I need this one. And the funny part is that the whitest one is the white one. Thank goodness, because I can't do any more stress. <laughs> like, that was really stressful for me. I don't know about you guys, but that was for me. Now, 
me using the white on this figure that's out of a nail polish container um, I've used it once before and I find that the nail polish eventually cracks falls off unless you clear coat it with something <laughs> something else and it still cracks and falls off so it just lasts longer than a day or two so but if it's gonna sit up on a shelf it's probably not gonna matter too much I was thinking about doing Twitch streams, where uh, Twitch streams where meet where I uh, fix up the toys and stuff. But I don't know. Is that is that something people would watch? Or oh, would people rather me be doing it on YouTube? I don't know. Okay, now I need a pick thingy. Pick thingy. Pick thingy. I need to do something short pitch to be honest. Since we don't have one, uh, uh, maybe it was a mistake putting that back in there. But sorry, guys, sitting here. Now I'm not inside the under the light anymore. So. Up this, we'll just put it thing in there, make sure we get everything. Okay, that's all dry. It's the orange that's taking forever. Let's clean off our tweezers. Okay, now I gotta come through and I gotta scratch off all of this. Oh, the heck, it's broken. Okay. easier one is going to be is the orange because it's acrylic so it should just come right on off. And it's if it's dry. Oh. I'm so, so happy and then I start looking at my work afterwards and it's like ugh. Okay. Well, let's see here. I think we're going to call it that for today. And you know what? No, it's going to be a 10 minute break, 20 minute break for me. But for you guys, it'll be nothing. So, and then I'll come back and do the, uh, the two blue dots. I'll do the yellow. And then we'll call it a night. All right, guys. Back shortly. Okay guys, we're back. Paint's dry, mostly. So, I was thinking, <sighs> I'm gonna use this metallic blue paint pen for the eyes, so I can just do a quick dab, and I've done that. And the yellow is our main part, so, and here's our tester's paint, so there we go. <laughs> Cleaned my brush. <sighs> And today is my wife's birthday, which was amazing because she's like, you don't even remember my birthday. I was like, it's not until 19. And she's like, today's the 19. I looked over and it's 12.57. I was like, oh, I'm sorry, babe. I didn't realize. <laughs> so now I feel like an idiot. But yeah, it's been pretty fun. <sighs> okay, we're going to put this in the eye. So all it does is gives it a little contrast. There we go. And then we gotta touch this one. Oh no, this is where I'm gonna be like, okay. Okay. So there we go. Now you see how that really helped it out. Um, so, all that being said, like I said before, this PLA is trash. I don't know why it keeps shattering. It looks really nice and, and velvety or the silky look, 
but it doesn't stand together these tops break off way too easy so I'm gonna say maybe it requires a 100% infill than a 20 that I've been using it could be that we'll see um, so yeah these are just extras I guess in case this ever falls off the shelf and gets messed up okay so now that we're done the blue we're gonna open up the yellow Ooh, that's not that pops nice, huh? Okay, now the yellow is gonna go on this band, and it's gonna go in between the orange on this, and that will be the to the original toy look for the Toxic Crusaders, inspired by the Toxic Avenger. Um, I am thinking I will make another one of these in um, PL8 Plus in the flesh tone. And then literally just paint all of his stuff black. Like his headband, his shirt, and his arm things, his pants, and his um, shoes. I think the original one he had sneakers, but it is what it is. Okay, let's touch this up. Now, I am currently... It's currently 109 and this yellow is not popping the way I want it to is it a oh it is pop oh wow it looks good on the camera so I will not change anything <laughs> all right uh, oh I was saying I'm currently listening to I'm currently watching a crazy cry stream great guy lots of lots of fun to watch Uh, good Christian streamer. Let's do so. I recommend that. He's a good guy overall. Lots of fun to watch. Okay, I think I'll just put these parts back in as I go. Yeah. So, oh, okay, that looks good. All right. Now, this is just really easy stuff that I'm doing. Um, probably because I don't want to do anything too intricate for paint because my hands aren't the best for it. Ain't that funny how, like, the best colors that go together are the primary colors? The ones that... Oops, I got paint on my orange. Okay. I remember I was talking about something about paint and oh the primary colors if you had another primary color uh, to the like you add your primary color to your secondary colors so greens blue blue and yellow and it, and you add uh, you add yellow to it and it just really pops complements it complementary colors Eric yes okay. Sorry, this isn't very exciting, but it is just painting yellow, so. How's it look on camera? Oh, that looks really nice, okay. Um, so for me, this is, the green's really showing through, but on camera it's not. So I'll have to wait and see what it looks like when it's dry. And my, and, we'll see how it goes. This is a lot of fun. Oh. Now, how's that look on the camera? Looks really nice. Oh, look at that. You can start seeing it fade through there. Which means it'll literally have to dry for uh, to cover it up. And you guys all won't see it. So, you, the camera won't catch it, anyways. Tricks of the trade. Like when you're doing um, uh, wounds in 
for uh, FX. Um, you want to do the uh, wound. Say you got a wound right here, all right, like a bite or something. You're, um, you're going to do the prosthetic, but don't do it the same color as the person's skin. You're going to make it redder than the skin around it, and it'll and it'll look it'll look uh, when the camera hits it, it'll it'll bleed through, it'll go through the red, and it'll look more like the uh, regular skin tone of the person. So I don't know. Does that help anyone? I don't know. I almost feel like I should have done these all yellow. Dud. I should have dud. Get her done. Yeah. So we're gonna do the. <laughs> should have done this all in ye oh, yellow. Should have done all this in orange. And then painted it yellow. Because then maybe it would have popped a little bit more. And the yellow would have had something more to cling to. As you see. I'm having to lather on the yellow pretty thick to get it to be somewhere I want it to be. And look at that. How does that look on camera? See, that looks yellow to me. That does not look yellow. It looks yellow, but it, maybe it's just the way the light's hitting it too for me. What the the, the white lights all, always uh, have a tendency to flush everything out a little bit, make it look lighter than it is. There we go. Oh, that looks so much better. Does that look as yellow? No, definitely not. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is just dab it. And and we shall not do it that way. Uh, I don't know. So, as you know, I took a 30 minute break just to let paint dry. What do you guys think so far? <clears throat> Uh-huh, and we're going to use this uh, dead, the dead pelvis because, well, it's tight now, but it wasn't tight before. Okay. I just got to get the stand, and it stands. Oh, dropping stuff all over. Okay. It's, okay. Now, as you see, this... It's not very good that pelvis because, it, like I said, it broke right after printing it, and I was only cleaning it up, and I was being very I don't. It's not good. Let's just say it that way. Okay, let's get this out of there. Okay. All right, guys. Let's have a quick look. We'll get some of the crew in there. Okay, we'll move him back. Looks pretty good to me. There we go. Oh, there we go. Camera's now being fidgety. All right, let's go like that and let's hold it in place. All right, guys, so that's the video. I hope you enjoyed. I know I enjoyed just ranting. <laughs> All right, guys, until next time, stay awesome and uh, 